All right. What's up? What's up? This is a Bible study review. It's going to be a quick review. It's been a minute since I, you know, had this segment. Uh, I thank God for this opportunity to be before you tonight. I'm going to go over some notes real fast because this is what the Bible study is about. It's all some word, digital. Uh, I'm trying to upgrade a lot of things and um, just trying to do some other things to keep the content kind of fresh and unique. Um, you know. That's what we are, unique people in Christ anyway. But I'm rambling, so I'm not going to try to keep rambling. We'll go ahead and get to the point. Um, basically, uh, spiritual knowledge is the greatest knowledge. This is a notes on my little tablet. Uh, belief and unbelief. Uh, fear comes from unbelief, as we know. Uh, John, uh, 1 John uh, 5, 5. Um, the more we seek him in the word, the more our eyes are open in the spirit realm. Believers are limited with a lack of sight or understanding. And distance hinders reception. And you get that, you understand by signal when you on the radio uh, driving from a distance. And all of a sudden your distance and your signal goes out. And you start hearing other channels beside the channel you were listening to. You understand that what that means in the spirit realm. You know, when you're distant from God, you start losing your reception. You start losing the voice. You can't hear. That makes sense? So... I like that how he put that tonight. Uh, the old nature starts to manifest itself when you are falling from a distance. Um, that's awesome. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie to that. That's that's good. Uh, yes, when you start referring to the old man as what Peter did. He when Jesus died and um, uh, on the cross, Peter went back to fishing. Peter went back to cursing. Peter went back with the old man, and that's with reference from the from the word. So you know when you distance yourself from Christ, when you start denying yourself. You know, and and you have no direction. You start going back and reverting back to the old nature of the old man, and that's what we can't do. You know, if you believe in Christ, you got to move forward with Him. So let's move forward. You know, forward with the notes. But to expound on that, I'm just going with the notes. Let you know how great the word was. Um, just give you a few. I'm not gonna give you all of the notes. I'm just gonna give you a few that stood out to me, and then I'm just gonna let continue to give you the up, up, up on it and what's going on about it. And uh, tonight was awesome word. Um, it was just, it was, we've been cut for the last two weeks. Sling blading, Holy Ghost just sling blading people. So, you know, believers, you know, I'm just letting you know, guys, that, you know, this is a year of the saints. And we need to understand one thing that, you know, if we take heed to his word, he's going to bless us. And we don't take heed to the word. You no, know, he's going to continue to show us who we are and what we need to do. Amen. So this is going to keep going with the notes. And. Basically, he's saying uh, the best way to receive from the Father is have the intent to obey. That's good stuff right there. And, you know, also, you know, um, your approach to a thing often determines the outcome. Uh, approach the word with a reference of the Father. I think that speaks for itself. I believe that speaks for itself. Uh, religion kills the power of the Holy Ghost. <laughs> religion kills the power of the Holy Ghost so that, that's powerful in itself too people I mean yeah hey stop being religious and be the church don't just go to church become the church amen uh, the more we learn to yield to the Holy Ghost uh, the more the Father reveals us reveal things to us more he revealed to us the more responsibility he put on our plate the more we receive the revelation the more he revealed to us the more we have to step our game up when we reveal when he reveals stuff like to us so that's good as well you know further down me and I said just notes the further things the notes that stood out to me obedience will increase revelation obedience will increase revelation when you receive revelation you can't be the same and that's powerful uh, always tell yourself more than anybody else. Basically, tell yourself more. Encourage yourself. Learn to encourage yourself. Learn to encourage yourself. Only you could pick yourself up. Uh, whatever you believe, you will practice. And, that, and I like that too as well. Uh, the way you pray is how you live. The way you pray is how you live. And I think that speaks for itself as well. <laughs> so... This is also, you know, uh, whatever you believe, you would practice. Uh, the way you pray is how you live. Uh, your prayer reveals everything about you. 
uh, keep going what you believe is going to be in your prayer life and I like that I think that's I think that's key right there for whatever you believe the promises of God you will repeat it in your prayer and return to worship and when it turns to worship and then guess what you start re it's like re 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 a repetition if you believe in the promises of God and you start reciting the promise of God and declaring the career thing, it will come back. It will keep coming. It will regurgitate in your soul and your spirit. And it will continue to move you forward to your next level, to the next understanding, the next move, the next revelation that you receive. And I think that's powerful in itself. And uh, I thank God for that. You know, your prayer life reveals who you are. If you trust the Father, you, you pray his promises and not your own words. So that's good right there as well. Uh, you have to understand the DNA that's in you. And I like that. <laughs> I like that. Uh, your prayer life reveals everything. And I mean everything. And I, I'm a firm believer of that. Uh, the spirit of religion kills. The relationship points to rulership. Uh, relationship over religion. Uh, the father can only. Okay. The father can only see you if he. Uh, has an expect expectation of you coming back to him. The father can only see you only if he has the father now has the expectation that you're coming back to him. Like in the, the story of the prodigal son, he made he made he says he made his mind up in himself to go back to his father. But the spiritual revelation behind that, you know, is that he's coming back to his father. He had to repent to the father in heaven and come back to his natural father on earth. But you know. The father saw him fall off, and on the way to see you, he has to know he has an expectation of you that you're coming back. And I like that. Um, to further along, um, know what you're operating in before you approach the father. Know what you, what kind of spirit you're operating in before you approach the father. Know what uh, kind of mindset or sin or what things you're in before you offer, uh, before you approach the father, because he knows all anyway. Um, Patience is where you get your best revelations. You gotta learn how to steal your spirit. Learn to steal your spirit to hear his voice. God is into restoring you with a celebration. Because remember in the particle son, the, uh, the story of the parable of the parable of the son, the son the particle son, excuse me. Um the father threw a banquet, a feast for him, because he came back and returned. And instead of him, oh dad, this and that, he returned. And when he returned, he threw a, a celebration. And that's what the father would do when you return back to him. He's going to celebrate and he's going to throw a celebration for you. And I, and I like how the man of God, how the Holy Ghost released that through the man of God tonight. You know, when you return back to the father, because he already knows what you're going to do regardless. Because he knows your thoughts that are far off. He's going he's gonna to throw a celebration. And that's awesome stuff. He said, God see what you are doing, but he sees your heart. God sees your sin. God sees, the Father sees everything. But he, the main thing that he sees mostly is your heart. It doesn't matter what you did bad. It doesn't matter what you did, uh, whatever you have done. As long as you, he sees your heart and you turn your mindset back to him, he, it doesn't matter to him. He, he remember your sins no more. If you repent and convert yourself back to Christ, he will remember you no more. Remember your sins no more. Let me slow down a little bit. But uh, it says that uh, separation from God is death, as in, you know, detaching yourself from, alienating yourself from the life of God, Ephesians chapter 4, uh, repentance uh, restores life, and you know, just like the parable, the parable, the parable, uh, the parable of the particle son, you know, what saved his life is because he repented, and his life got restored by the father, so you know, repentance can restore you in the instant, if you renew that mind, and Last of the notes, I didn't read all of it. I just kind of skimmed down. I told you that the main points that stuck out to me tonight. Uh, what kills many believers is when we are operating by law and don't know it. And I like that. Listen to what I just said. What kills many believers is when we are operating by law and don't even know it. Hmm. Think about that. We're no longer under law, but under the law of grace. So what law are we talking about? The Mosaic law? Or the law of, of the Holy Ghost, the Spirit, by or the law of grace. But they talk about the Mosaic law, because we 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 want to go by the rules, but we don't understand the meaning of the rules. And I'll let you think about that part. But other than that, that's my notes for right now. This is a Bible study review. That's all it is. A review for what we went over tonight. 
I pray that the good Lord is having good times with you guys. Favor the Lord is upon you. And I just want to say, y'all continue to keep your head up. Lift your eyes towards the hills which coming from uh, coming from the... Um, lift, Amen, amen. Lift up your eyes towards the hills, which coming from the, your coming your help, and your help coming from the Lord Jesus. And I just thank God for that. Yeah, I'm I'm gonna keep going big uh, tongue twisters because it's it's kind of late, but I just thank God for it anyway. This is my my excitement of the word being released. And remember, God is not dead, and that's why I wore the shirt to let you guys know that God is in you, and great is He that is in you, that is here in this world. So I just thank you for that, uh, for the word, Lord Jesus. Uh, bless you guys. And you guys have a blessed night. Amen, amen, amen. See you next week. <laughs>